Hi, it's Rob Moore here. Now, I believe there's always vulnerability in greatness. Uh, I think if you study any of the people that you love and respect and maybe idolize and pedestalize the most, you'll learn that they're as vulnerable as you and I. They're, they're a failure and a car crash in things that they haven't yet honored, mastered, or don't see as important or don't uh, have on their values. And I think that's this vulnerability is is very inspiring. And I think with social media and the, the culture and society and mass media at the moment, it's almost like uh, people who are great are pedestalized. And it's almost like there's nothing wrong with them. You know, they're not weak. They're completely strong. They never have a, a bad moment. And uh, I think that creates an illusion. I think that that puts extra pressure on all of us to be who we're supposed to be. And in every, every master was once a disaster. And I love studying successful people. You know, I'm really inspired by people who've achieved greatness in, their, in the thing that they've honored, the thing that they've seen as most important to them, their vision, their mission, their purpose. And in the past, I've really pedestalized people, you know, in, in my mind for sure. Say, for example, someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's be, been possibly the world's greatest in three different areas, which I find so inspiring. And, uh, uh, when I met him for the first time, I must admit I was a little bit nervous because I was over pedestalizing him that he was greater than me. And, and when I met him, I don't know if you've seen the photos with me and him, uh, he's a lot shorter than me and uh, he, he, he dyes his hair. Now, I'm not knocking Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's still a guru to me. But the point is uh, that we're all great at the things that we honor and serve and, and commit our lives to helping other people with and are high on our values. And we're all a disaster, weak and vulnerable in the things that uh, that we choose not to. Uh, for example, I was listening to a great podcast on the Tim Ferriss Show, an interview with Edward Norton, who said he, he wishes he was better with email. He just gets up in the morning, he gets so sucked into email. And I thought and I thought that was, you know, really an honest thing to say. And, and no more should it be that we over pedestalize our hero, heroes and, and mentors and and the stars of this world. I think it's just about understanding that they're great at the things they've honored. They're great at the things that are most important to them, that they've spent their life dedicating to serving others and, and becoming great at. And so can you do the same. And so should you, because the purpose in life is to find your purpose. But also, just like you and I, they're an absolute car crash, weak, vulnerable and lacking in confidence in the areas that they've disowned or the areas that aren't important to them. I mean, get me in a yoga class. I'm at the back of the class. I could barely touch my knees let alone my toes. I don't know if you've ever seen a baby horse being born and walking for the first time. But, but, but you know, that's me. Uh, so I guess the, the message of this video is there's always vulnerability and greatness. You risk being vulnerable and ex exposed when you serve the things that you want to do the most and that will make you the greatest. And when you're looking to study and, and be mentored and, and learn from great people, which I think is an absolute must, it's as inspiring to learn that they're vulnerable as it is that they're great.